Good evening, Juanita Phillips with ABC News. Canberra has turned on the full ceremonial treatment for Indonesia's president. And Susilo Bangbang Yudhoyono didn't come empty-handed. He's declared that Indonesia will move to make people smuggling a crime. And that's exactly what Australia's wanted for years. But the efforts to forge greater cooperation were almost overshadowed by news that the Navy has intercepted another asylum seeker boat, the 21st this year. From Canberra, political correspondent Greg Jennett reports. A crowded house on its best behaviour. Cecilia Bangbang Yudiono went where only six foreign leaders have been before. Thank you, Australia. He's the first Indonesian president to address a joint sitting. Now our relationship enters into a new phase. But even in a mist of neighbourly affection, old irritants aren't forgotten. On Indonesia's part, it's territorial sovereignty. The success of peace and reconciliation in Aceh and Papua is not trivial. We would like Australia to understand and appreciate that. For Australia, it's boat arrivals. People smuggling has started again and we can stop it again. The two leaders signed a new agreement to tackle the problem. The details will remain a secret. More federal police work and intelligence sharing are likely from Canberra. And in return, Jakarta will pass laws to treat people smuggling as a crime. Those found guilty will be sent to prison for up to five years. But as they spoke came news of yet another boat arrival, intercepted off Ashmore Reef with 46 passengers on board. It's the 21st this year. In their private talks, Mr Rudd told the President he'd support any request for clemency for the Bali Nine and push the case for a prisoner transfer agreement for Chappelle Corby. One of the more obvious signs of success of this visit will be the many more that follow. The two leaders have agreed to meet every year, which means the President will return in 2012. He's off to Sydney in the meantime. Greg Jennett, ABC News, Canberra.